Six years ago, researchers discovered a cure for hearing loss, but they just lost it. Some of the more popular videos on my channel are the ones where I'm talking about the progress made in the search for a hearing loss cure. In general, there are three methods that researchers are looking into that show promise for one day curing hearing loss. The first one is gene therapy, the second one is stem cell therapy, and the third one is molecular therapy. Up until right now, molecular therapy has been the clear front runner. It was designed to stimulate progenitor cells inside of the cochlea to regrow hair cells. And since the deterioration of hair cells inside of your cochlea is the leading cause of hearing loss, being able to regrow these hair cells would go a long way in curing hearing loss. Case in point, back in 2019, biotechnology company Frequency Therapeutics announced positive results of their phase one half safety trial of their hearing loss drug FX322. Not only did this clinical trial show that FX322 was safe, but it also showed that several individuals in this study improved their high frequency hearing thresholds and their word recognition scores. To say that this created a lot of excitement inside of the hearing loss community would be an understatement, especially since Frequency Therapeutics applied for and received fast track designation from the FDA, meaning that at that time, we could have been only a few years away from having a legitimate cure for hearing loss. They also found out that the majority of individuals who experienced that improvement in that initial study were able to maintain that improvement when they were tested again nearly two years later. To top it all off, that same company developed a new and improved version of FX322 called FX345 that was designed to penetrate deeper inside of the cochlea to get to lower frequency ranges and hopefully grow even more hair cells to get more improvement. However, both of Frequency Therapeutics drugs, FX322 and FX345, just suffered a major setback. But before I get into what this setback is, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at the press release that Frequency Therapeutics released on February 13th, 2023. According to Frequency Therapeutics, their FX322-208 study fails to meet primary endpoint showing no significant separation in speech perception between FX322 and placebo. The study, which enrolled 142 people with either sudden or noise-induced sensorineural hearing loss, failed to achieve its primary efficacy endpoint of an improvement in speech perception. Data showed no statistically meaningful difference at day 90 between those administered FX322 versus those receiving placebo in the proportion of individuals that demonstrated an improvement in speech perception. There were also no measurable improvements observed in any of the study's secondary endpoints. The company will now discontinue the FX322 development program. In addition, while dosing of FX345, a second program to treat sensory neural hearing loss, has been completed in the initial safety cohort of an ongoing phase 1b trial, that development program will also be discontinued. The company will now focus its resources to advance its remyelination of MS program into the clinic. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this news. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time at this point, and you've seen my other videos covering FX322, we already knew that this was going to be a long shot. Even with the positive results that we saw using FX322 back in 2019, they have never been able to replicate that improvement in any of their subsequent clinical trials. It's almost like they discovered the cure, but then they lost it. The first phase 2A clinical trial of FX322 and a larger population, one of those groups inside of that trial got four treatments of FX322 and that showed no improvement over placebo. After that clinical trial, they tried another clinical trial where they just did one dose of FX322 and the result was the exact same. Now if four doses of FX322 are not going to show an improvement in hearing, what are the chances that a single dose would? However, we were given a little bit of hope when they announced that they had a stronger form of this drug that could penetrate deeper into the cochlea. It would stand to reason that if you could get more of this drug drug further into the cochlea, it could potentially stimulate the regrowth of more hair cells and provide more improvement. However, they also pulled the plug on this FX345 clinical trial, which means that it likely had no improvement either. 
All right, so what does this mean? Well, it basically means that we are not going to be seeing a hearing loss restoration drug hit the market anytime soon. So if you've been waiting for a miracle cure, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a lot longer. In my opinion, molecular therapies like FX322 and FX345 were significantly further along than any genetic therapies or any stem cell therapies to regrow hair cells inside of the cochlea for individuals who've lost their hearing. The worst part is frequency therapeutics is completely abandoning hair cell regeneration, which means all of the progress that they've made over the course of the past six years is all just gone. That being said, there may be a little bit of a silver lining in this news. Now, I know that this is not what you want me to say, but there are certain individuals out there who've been putting off hearing treatment in the hopes that these drugs would have actually cured their hearing loss. I'm talking about treating hearing loss with what we have currently available, which is hearing aids, bone anchored hearing aids, cochlear implants, and brainstem implants. Honestly, a lot of the hype surrounding these hearing loss restoration drugs, a lot of which I am guilty of promoting, have probably cost people years of their hearing. I feel especially bad given all of the things that we know come from untreated hearing loss, like increased rates of depression, social isolation, increased risk of falling, and then even the potential cognitive issues that can develop over time with untreated hearing loss as well. So if this bad news is the one thing that spurs you to actually say, you know what, maybe I just gotta go and treat my hearing loss, then this could be really good news for you. Because after all, the vast majority of people who choose to treat their hearing loss with current technologies that are out there are extremely happy with how they hear. And it's probably the reason why hearing aid adoption rates are higher today than they ever have been before in history. However, if you actually want to receive the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing treatment, you have to go to a hearing care professional who follows best practices. Now, if you do not know what best practices are, I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link in the description because best practices are the only way to ensure that you receive the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing treatment. If you want an easy way to find a hearing care professional who follows comprehensive best practices in your area, then make sure you visit my website, hearingup.com, to find a Hearing Up network member near you and experience the difference that exceptional hearing care makes. While the search for a cure for hearing loss did suffer a major setback, there are still researchers out there searching for a cure. It's just going to be a while. So do yourself a massive favor and treat your hearing loss now by any means necessary while you wait. That way your brain is not deprived of sound for years, potentially limiting your performance if and when a cure for hearing loss is discovered. All right, guys, if you want to check out some more of my YouTube videos talking about the cure for hearing loss, I will have them linked here in these cards and down in the description below. I'll see you next time.